Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my current favorites. I actually don't think I've ever done one of these videos on my channel and I'm actually not going to include any clothing in this because I pretty much always talk about clothes. So I want to base this video around more lifestyle products. I personally love watching these videos because I'm really nosy. So I just like knowing what people are obsessed with. So I thought you guys would enjoy this and let's get into it. Starting off, I have makeup and skincare, and I have five pieces to share with you guys. Firstly, I have the Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. I'm sure you guys have heard of this lipstick. It is going viral on TikTok right now, and I picked it up last week. I got super lucky, and I picked up the last one at my local Shoppers Drug Mart. Bring it out to show you guys. I've already got so much use out of it. Basically a sheer maroon lipstick that blends in and matches your natural lip color. It is so beautiful. I love the consistency of it. It's so smooth and it honestly just feels like lip balm. I'm not a lipstick girl at all. I actually have it on my lips right now. I'm obsessed with this like maroon color for the fall. I think it is so beautiful. I just love how deep it is. And this is actually a really, really old product. When I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, the lady was like, I can't believe this is going viral. This product has been around for like 30 years. Going along with that, I have the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Mahogany. I'm also wearing this right now on top of the almost lipstick these oh my gosh are actually a very powerful duo i don't think this combination is going viral but i kind of made it up and i'm obsessed with it i also have this in the shade one which is their light pink color and i love the dior lip glue oil it's actually insane i am such a glossy lip girl like i said i don't really like matte products on my lips just because it really dries them out and just doesn't look good so I've always been obsessed with gloss and this is the best one that I've ever found it's not sticky it lasts a long time and it's more just like moist like an oil well it's like a it's an oil so like I said I have these two on right now and this is my current favorite lip duo I don't even line my lips or anything it's so natural and cute you look like a little cherry I have the summer Fridays lip butter balm in the flavor vanilla i'm almost out of it so i need to pick up another one but i actually wear this every single day it is the most hydrating lip balm i've ever found i also love the application on it and also the summer fridays packaging 10 out of 10 so instagrammable and cute i pretty much wear this non-stop all day unless i have a lip product on um literally scared me Oopsie. Oh, come on, come on. Did you guys see this? Come here. I have to close the door. Here's my other favorite. It's Bailey. She needs a haircut. Oh. Do you want on my bed? Here. I swear he comes in every single one of my videos. Anyway, I don't even remember what I was saying anymore, but I love this. <laughs> Next, I have the Youth to the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. Honestly, wasn't loving it until I switched to just using this in the morning. Personally, I have acne prone skin if you guys didn't know. I was on Accutane when I was in my senior year of high school for a full year. So I can't use super light cleansers because of that. And I really wanted to try this because it went viral on TikTok and I believe Hiram was raving all about this. So I wanted to try it. I was using this day and night and I just found it wasn't cleaning my skin. I was getting like little bumps and stuff like that. Like I said, I need like a really deep cleanser. So I switched to just using this in the morning when I'm in the shower just to basically clean off all of the sweat after my workout. And so far, so good. I think in combination with the rest of my skincare, it is a perfect match. I love how clean it is. It's a kale and green tea spinach mix. So it's super fresh. It actually smells amazing. 
like you can smell all of the green ingredients in it lastly for skincare i have the kiehl's retinol skin renewing daily microdose serum i believe delaney childs did a like sponsorship about this on her instagram and I was actually in the market for a retinol serum. So I picked this up when I was at Sephora around a month ago. And this is so good, guys. I was on the hunt for the perfect retinol serum to incorporate into my nighttime skincare. And this is her. Before this, I was using one from The Ordinary and it was way too powerful for my skin. And I found with the lack of days that I couldn't use it in a row, it wasn't really doing the job. I don't know why, but it was like burning my skin. I don't know if that's normal. So that's why I really like how this one is a micro dose serum so it's perfect for everyday use so what this says is it's clinically tested to steadily promote skin revitalization invisibly improve firmness reduce the look of wrinkles and fine texture while minimizing discomforting effects including visible redness peeling due to dry skin so that's what retinol was doing to my skin before so i was using it like every three days or something so i highly recommend this if you guys have sensitive skin throughout the month that i've been using this i've noticed such a big difference it is so firm and plump again probably in combination with all of my skincare it's the perfect match i hate that skincare is so damn expensive i believe this is like a hundred dollars but you gotta invest in your skin because it really does make a difference in the long run moving in to jewelry are actually the earrings that i'm wearing right now let me take one out so i can show you guys they're from a female owned small business on instagram called bella boutique and she actually gifted me them which is so sweet so i want to share them with you guys because i truly am obsessed with them i've been looking for a pair of mini chunky hoops in this shape for so long and I found my perfect pair. They're affordable, I believe they're $22. They remind me a lot of the Jennifer Fisher hoops, which I've been wanting for so long, but they are so expensive, I just cannot. If you guys are looking for a dupe, this is a good option. And they're honestly just the perfect hoop. Moving in to random pieces so starting off i have this candle from anthropology you guys would have seen me pick this up in one of my recent vlogs it's called the boulangerie jar candle in pumpkin souffle it smells like a pumpkin cookie or like a pumpkin loaf anything that you're baking that has pumpkin in it this is what it smells like it's actually incredible i'm like already halfway done it i hate that i f***ed up the burning the candle one time you know when you don't burn it for long enough and it doesn't like fully melt the whole layer but i had to leave so i blew it out and it literally messed up as you can see it's like tunneling i'm upset kind of skeptical of this because it was 24 dollars. that's a lot for this tiny candle and i wasn't sure if it was actually going to light up the whole room because a lot of times with tiny candles the scent does not carry but this actually does there's a few other scents in this style but i'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out but i burn this every single night while i read my book or watch vampire diaries <laughs> the next one i can't hold up for you guys the phillips hue smart light i've had this for probably two or three months now and if you guys watch the vlogs you know how much i love it i seriously use it every single day it's probably one of the best things that i've bought for myself in a really long time it just really elevates the experience of going to bed and my nighttime routine i seriously look forward to using it every single day as stupid as that sounds but it just gets me excited it's a bluetooth light so it connects with your phone let me just get it so i can show you i just turned it on if you open the app it will automatically connect to your light and you can go through different scenes and adjust it based on what you want the lighting to be love savannah sunset i'm not sure if you guys can really see but it's red I love red light for going to bed because it stimulates the production of melatonin. If you go to the gallery, there are so many different ones. Their default settings are pretty cool too. So there's like a bright, dimmed, relaxed, a night light. But my favorite is the reading setting. I got mine at Best Buy, but I believe you can also get it on Amazon. Tinsel's basically a part of my channel. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm sure a lot of you have cats 
as well. So I have the Tuft & Paw Kip Kat cushion. It's so cute. Pencil is obsessed with it. So that's why I want to share with you guys because she sleeps on it all day if she's not on my bed. I was very skeptical of this because of how expensive it was. Don't come at me, okay? I'm treating my cat. I wasn't sure what the quality was going to be like, but it's actually insane. It is so squishy. It's basically... A mattress like slash couch for your cat it is so comfortable and as you guys can see it has a divot in it which if you have a cat you know they like things like that because they're always in boxes and just getting inside of anything they can I just have the ivory color in the tall size because I keep it in a corner where I kind of wanted it to also act as decor but they have a different sizes as well they have like a wide one and a small one but this was just the perfect one for my room I wanted something aesthetic for my room and to be honest there's not a lot of pet decor places that actually have cute stuff so when I saw this I had to get it because it is so adorable it literally looks like Decor. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know how much Tinsel loves this. Post photos of her every few days laying in it. So yeah, kind of random to throw it in there, but for all of my fur baby parents, just check out Tuft & Paw. They have so many cute things. Okay, moving in to some accessories. I'm sure you guys probably saw this one coming, but I have my Sunday Vest New Goldie bag. I'm not going to say too much about this because if you guys are subscribed, I have talked about this in probably the last five or six videos, but it's basically a nylon shoulder bag that I got from Aritzia, but specifically focusing on this truffle color because it is my current everyday bag. I have all of the essentials in here. It's such good quality. The color is to die for for the fall. It reminds me of my lip combo like I feel like I'm kind of matching when I wear them which is cute I am freaking obsessed with it and I wear it and use it every single day I have another accessory from Aritzia and it is a pair of their socks not gonna lie I picked these up today but I wore them before I filmed this video and I've been wanting them for a really long time so I just wanted to include them in this video because I know they're going to be an absolute staple in my wardrobe do you guys know my love for the TNA socks, it's not a secret, but I usually get the base ankle size, which is like just a smaller length, but I decided to get the crew length. I just thought it'd be so cute scrunched up when I'm wearing leggings, like coming out of my sneakers. I wear the base ankle pretty much every day, so I just wanted to switch it up and get the crew. I cannot wait to wear these. You know you're getting old when you're getting excited about wearing socks. <laughs> Next I have a pair of shoes. These aren't new in my wardrobe. I've actually had them since I want to say April, but I have rediscovered my love for them. They are my everyday sneaker as of right now. I go through phases specifically with purses and shoes where I become very obsessed with one pair and I wear them for a few weeks or a month and then I just like switch. So as of right now, I am loving my New Balance 990 V5s. These are probably one of the most popular dad sneakers ever. I think I've been loving them a lot recently because of the gray, darker colors compared to my white sneakers. Just as we are transitioning into fall and winter, I find I always gravitate towards my darker colored clothing and accessories. So yeah, I've been wearing these with pretty much everything. Leggings, jeans, sweatpants. It looks so good with a matching sweat set. And not only are they so cute and trendy, they're my most comfortable pair of sneakers too. So it's a win-win. And I love me a good chunk dad sneaker for the fall with like an oversized sweater some leggings the crew socks scrunched up so good finishing off i have kind of like coffee accessories that's so random but i wanted to share these with you guys if you watch the vlogs or follow me on instagram you've probably seen these i have like three different accessories from nespresso that i want to share with you guys i actually got these in the nespresso welcome package which I didn't even know it was a thing until my friend told me. So if you guys have an espresso machine, ask about the welcome package because it is such a good deal. You get a set of two mugs and two spoons for free. But I believe you have to buy like 150 sleeves or something, which is a lot. But if you know what coffee you like, you can just stock up. They're such good quality and just make coffee experience feel so bougie, especially with the spoon. Another thing I really like about the Nespresso mugs is they are really thick and high quality glass. So when you make iced drinks, 
the glass doesn't sweat which is so annoying and a lot of my mugs that i use for iced coffee does that for example those mason jars they are the worst for sweating it just like soaks the coaster that you're using which is so irritating so if that bugs you <laughs> check out the Nespresso mugs. And then to go along with that, I want to share my favorite pod with you guys right now. I just thought it was super fitting because it is the pumpkin spice cake and it is the 7.77 ounce. So it's like the regular coffee size. I've recently been having hot coffees in the morning because I really like the way that this tastes when it's warm. It's just gonna be so nice once it does get a little bit colder. So if you have an espresso, please go try this. And then to go with the pumpkin spice cake, is the starbucks coffee enhancer pumpkin spice latte creamer literally a match made in heaven i don't have it with me because it's in the fridge but i'll insert a photo of it here they are so good together i like to pour it in while my coffee is still brewing and then use my spoon to stir it up and it just like absorbs while it's brewing it is incredible so those are all of my current favorite products i don't do too many chill sit down relaxing videos like this but i do really enjoy filming them so let me know if you liked it i just love you guys so thank you for commenting liking watching the video supporting me it means the world to me also i have to show you bailey right now <laughs> okay bye